I'm, I'm a nobody. I'm a 34 year old Australian girl um, who never makes TikToks, but I have tried to venture into online dating over the past few months to get back out there. Um, and I just wanted some reassurance and support because I don't seem to be getting it from the opposite sex. Um, in terms of, I have not been on, asked out on one date. Um, I've only had offers to go to someone's house or uh, be Snapchat or pen pals. And then it ends up just disappearing into nothing and it's just the same monotonous, boring conversation. Uh, and then I feel like if I asked someone, hey, do you actually want to meet up? Why do I get such an anxiety attack about it? Because, oh, like, oh, that's a bit too much and, oh, that's a bit forward. But it's like I'm a woman of age, like... I know what I want and I know what I deserve, but why on earth is it absolutely so difficult for a man to be on these apps, but then do they do it just for an ego boost to be like, oh, look at this, this chick, she likes me, rah, rah, rah. Like I am actually, my mind is blown and I am so exhausted and tired of going through the same roundabouts with the same men and it eventuating to absolutely nothing. And it Is it just me? Yes. Is it just me or do men not approach women anymore? Like, I am not the approaching type. I can't approach anyone. But I saw some fine, fine men. Did you see some? I did. Yeah, we just went to uh, Black on a Block in Texas. I saw some gorgeous men, but none of them approached me, and I can't, I'm not the approaching type. I can't do it. But if you approach me, I am nice. I'm just about to be single for forever. You wonder why men no longer approach. Well, do you modern women give men any incentives to approach you? Most men have stopped asking women out, and the signs of frustration are growing on these modern women. And while the reasons for this recent happenings are rather very obvious, they fail to recognize that this is a consequence of their own actions. They brag about how many DMs they get on social media, but hey, why are you still single then? Of course, there will always be simps and horny men that will slide into your DMs when you post a provocative picture, but how many of them will date or even plan to marry you? These men open dating apps, chat with me, but refuse to ask me out, not even on a date. And the first thing that came across her mind as a reason is that those men are on there to get an ego boost. First of all, I don't even know why any man should still be on these dating apps, but if any man is on a dating app and he's not interested in meeting you or asking you out on a date, it is not for an ego boost. That's more like something a woman would do. But many people still wonder what the reasons are why men are suddenly opting out of dating, why men are no longer interested in dating modern women. Those are pretty obvious, aren't they? Stay with me. The first reason is obviously the character of these modern women. They have abandoned their traditional roots. Men are firstly attracted to beauty and elegance, but what makes them stick is the mentality and behavior. When high value men want to play around, they move with these modern women, but when it is finally time to settle down, start a family and build their home, they fly out in droves to find traditional women. Young modern women have grown so promiscuous that men don't have to be in a relationship with them to sleep with them. The hookup culture has given these men the opportunity to not commit. But honestly, who would want to commit to a woman you had a one night stand with? They might be very good at sex, be a pro at it, but no man in his right senses will want such type of women for more than sex or to be the one to build his home with just because she's a pro in bed. Also, no man will ask out a woman who believes cooking for her man is slavery and oppression, even though the man funds her lifestyle. Men have woken up and realized that even though we are meant to be providers and protectors, these modern women do not deserve all of it. Many men are also voluntarily getting out of the dating market because the market is in absolute shambles right now. There are little or no good options out there. It's either 30 plus women who are now desperate to settle down after they have wasted away many years of their prime clubbing, hoeing around, or women who are promiscuous, with very high body counts, not correctable and disrespectful. And now that men have realized that there are better options all over the globe, 
they go their own way to find these women, leaving the Western woman lonely. Another reason is rejection. Yeah, let's face it. Most men, in fact, let me come out bold. All men out there have at one time in their life faced rejection from a woman. I have a female friend who told me about how she and the other ladies in her friend group were using the number of men that they have rejected to score points and brag. Some of her friends texted about how far they went by going to parties, seducing men just to reject them later because of their sick game. I wouldn't say I was shocked because there is nothing these modern women can't try now. So are these people even ready for relationships? They are the type that later end up desperate in need of a man when they get to 30 plus. At some point, you stop trying after you approach different women, talk to them, and they reject you. It's even worse these days when you hear stories about women making fun of men who approach them, or the ones making videos calling them creeps and perverts. The sad thing is these women do not even know what till rejection can take on people. In fact, even when they get little no's, at places of work for example, they break down and cry. You guys remember the story of the woman who pretended to be a man for a while, Nora Vincent. She decided to end her own life after tons of rejection and struggling. To be honest, it's just better to avoid them all. They are obsessed with getting cheap likes and engagements on social media. We as men are facing lots of things already. Why add the problem of dating a modern woman to that? In the days, most of the time, you would wait for someone to make the first move. It might be on the first date, it might be the third date, whatever. It right. could be the man, it could be the woman. But now, all my friends have noticed that the man has stopped making the first move. All my girlfriends are like, they're waiting, it's the third date, fourth date, a week later. He hasn't gone in for the kiss, he doesn't do any touching or anything. And I've asked my dude friends that are single, right. and they are like, you don't know where a woman's gonna go with that story where I ain't touching nobody. And it kind of, it sucks because the Me Too movement is so strong and so so powerful for the people that need it, but it shouldn't ruin the maturity that we should have within intimacy and relationship. The Me Too movement is perhaps the funniest reason why men are no longer asking women out anymore. Women claim to be strong and independent. They claim they do not need men to do things for them. Men have always been the initiator of conversations anywhere in the world. We make the first move when we see a woman we admire, but now with the way some of these women disrespect, insult, and disregard men who approach them, we have taken a back seat. Well, if we can approach y'all, you too should be able to do that, shouldn't you? Now, let's see y'all come get us. We are the actual prize anyway. We have always been. The simps who send thousands of dollars to women just because they look nice have made society believe that the women are the prize. Seriously guys, the best decision you can make right now as a man is to get out of the dating market. Focus on yourself. Focus on your self-improvement. Giddy up, you're going to be great. And when you reach that high value stage, do not let anything stop you from going to find the woman of your dreams anywhere in the world. That's going to be all for today guys. Let me know what you feel about this video in the comments. Also make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so I can be motivated to create more content like this for you. Thank you. See you again soon.